what is going on everyone thank you so much for checking out this video so today we're going to be going over how to edit wedding photos and engagement photos to give that nice dark moody and earthy tone look when i uploaded the behind the scenes video of the maternity shoot a lot of people complimented my editing so today i wanted to go over how i got that look and hopefully it helps you so of course without further ado give this video a thumbs up subscribe turn on those bell notifications and now let's begin all right so here we go here is the photo that we will be editing today so let's just get with some metadata here in case you are interested so this was the canon eos r i am at 1 100th of a second at f1.2 50 millimeters iso 1250 and yeah that's about it so this is the before and then this is the after with the editing again nice dark moody earthy tone warm look so let's go ahead and edit this photo so let's get the raw right here go into the develop tab and here we go so of course let's begin by doing profile corrections remove chromatic aberration and then enable profile corrections let's do a transform and see what that does so it makes it a little bit straighter it's a little bit better and now we're actually going to crop in a little bit That's good with me. So let's add a little bit noise reduction. This area was very dark because we are here before the sun rose. So it's a little grainy and that's why my ISO was so high. So let's go about eh, 15 is fine with me. And now let's start with the basic corrections. So exposure, I'm gonna keep that as is. I don't think there's really any need to change that. Contrast, we're gonna take that down a little bit. That should be good. Highlights, we're gonna take down also a little bit. Shadows, we're gonna boost up a tad. Whites, we're gonna take down. And blacks, we're gonna take down. Go, so before and after. Not there yet, but it's getting there. So now onto this tab. Texture, we're gonna leave there. Clarity, we're gonna boost that up just a tad, not too much there, about 10. Vibrance, we're gonna take down. And saturation, we're gonna take down. So keep in mind, when you're doing this kind of edit on a photo, it always depends on how you take this photo. Sure, I'm giving you all the settings and stuff, but the way you take it is definitely gonna depend on how this filter looks on your photo. So let's go to the tone curve here. Let's go to the highlights, and we're gonna bring that down just a little bit. Let's go to the lights, bring that up. Go to the darks, bring that down. Shadows, let's bring those back up just a little bit, okay? And then again, before, after, it's definitely getting there. And now onto the HSL color sliders. This is definitely gonna change the way this photo looks. So I'm on HSL, all colors, and we're gonna go through these and see which ones to change here. So for the hue, let's start off with aqua and go up a few clicks there. Start at blue, let's go down, purple, down also magenta down just a little bit and now to saturation red we're gonna bring that down also should be good orange just down just a tad yellow bring that down quite a bit the green we're gonna take that all the way down here there we go aqua again take that down matching the green Blue, bring it down just a little bit. Purple, bring that down also. Magenta, and just a little bit, about 30 there. And now on to luminance. So starting with red, bring that down just one little click. Orange, that should be good. Yellow, we're gonna bring that back up. Green, down just a little bit. Aqua, bringing that back up. Go blue, purple, bring that up. And magenta, match that with purple. So there we go. So now we have, this is after, before, after, okay. So now you're definitely getting that nice green look on there. So now what we are gonna do is go up to the color balance. So we are gonna make this pretty warm. There you go. Now that's a pretty big jump, but that's okay. It still works out fine. So we're at 9,000. Tint, we are gonna bring up just a little bit, just a tad. And now that I'm looking at it, we can definitely bring in a little bit of saturation back in. Just 
give that more more color pop there for after for after okay so now we're gonna add a little vignette here just a tad bring that down there we go and then we can add even if you want even a little bit more warm tone in there for you so there you go that is how I make my photos look a little bit more earthy tone and a little more dark and moody. Well, there you have it. I hope you guys learned a little bit. If you did, give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, comment below with any questions, and I'll see you guys in my next video.